Okay. So there have been a lot of things happening, and you need to help keep me like chronologically oriented. Okay. Um, so I think where we last left off was the date of our modular home build got pushed out super far, and we said that's unacceptable. Um, and that's when I think I recorded the last update. Well, between that update and the end of that day, um, I happened to reach out to someone from my high school who was doing this, uh, who like is doing the homestead thing. And she's, she's getting a double wide on her land while they save up for her barn dominium, which I had never heard of. And she told me to look into it. So, uh, into what barn dominiums were because they're apparently like way affordable. And I was like, okay. So we did, and cuckoo clock. So we looked into it, and I was like, these look beautiful. Are these actually more affordable? And everything that I was reading seemed to say that they really are. And so I called Chad on the way home and was like, Chad, I discovered these new things. There's a new plan. I know, the plan just keeps Hooray! changing literally every day. Um, and so I told him, like, I found these things. They're steel-framed homes, and they're actually way cheaper. So where we were going to be out $360,000, I, at the time, probably incorrectly, was like, oh, we will only be out, like, $250,000. It'll probably be higher than that, but it'll be less than three hundred sixty either way. Yeah, it'll, pro it'll definitely be higher than that, but we'll get more of what we want yeah. for the same price. Yeah. For example, we'll have, like, metal... A metal roof, a garage. Which you've wanted, a metal roof all along. I mean, I don't want to replace it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the modular did not, that price did not include a garage at all. And I had actually been like stressing about like, we need a garage, we have a tractor, we have a snowblower, we have, you know, all of this stuff that right now, because this little house does not have a garage, is stored at various family and friends' houses. So um, yeah, I was stressing about that. But now, for less money, we are getting a three-car attached garage so huzzah mm -hmm. um so anyway chad was like on the phone was like nah, like she's changing the plan again and i was like chad when you see these pictures you're gonna say what the f is a modular house and why were we doing that yeah you basically said that verbatim and and then i came right. home and i showed him and he was like oh so it's not all sunshine and rainbows um i told our lender like Hey, our steel framed house, like we're going to do that instead of a modular. Is that a problem? My mistake. Why did I give them an option to have a problem with it? It's still, it still gets like stamped and certified by a, an engineer as being residential. So like there really shouldn't have been a problem, but they said, Ooh, if you're doing that, then instead of 5% down, we're going to require the full 20 and your interest rate's going to be higher. And so I was like, okay, bye. I'm <laughs> not doing that. So um, today is Sunday. Yesterday I called 24 banks. So <laughs> Monday is a bank holiday, but hopefully, sorry for me shaking this around so much. Hopefully Tuesday I'll hear back from all the banks. Um, but yeah, we, so it's a, now it's a four bed, actually five with that little five foot extension, like basically a five bed, two bath, two and a half bath, two, two bath. bath, two bath, um, ranch. It would be on a slab instead of a full basement, but we like took inventory of our basement and we were like, that can go in the garage, that can go in the garage, that would be in the house, like, so it all will work out. But anyway. Um, Plus, when we're super old and our knees don't work anymore. There's no stairs. We don't have to work on the stairs. Oh my gosh. And my laundry, for all the laundry I do, he's he does all of the laundry. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at no, it. No, no, no. Oh. I'm I'm not good at doing the laundry. I'm like, I do plenty of laundry. <laughs> no, you do like all the laundry. Um, but anyway, yeah, it'll be super convenient. So the problems that we're having, you're going to need to help me remember these because they just seem limitless, is obviously the lender. Um, regular contractors apparently aren't comfortable erecting them. So we had to call around to find someone who would erect it. Called and emailed, I don't know. Probably a dozen people. Probably a dozen contractors. One of them got back to me and said, hey, like, let me get back to you Thursday. So like this coming Thursday, I'm out of town, but I can put those up for you. Um, so that's good. The company that we're going through is Worldwide Steel Buildings. Super helpful so far. They can send someone to erect it, but 
for the number of square feet we were looking at, it was going to be like $36,000. So I'm hoping that someone local will be able to do it a little more affordably. Um, and we're looking at, what are the other fun things? Radiant heat. Radiant yeah. heat. Um, <laughs> yeah, radiant heat. First, I was a little hesitant to do that because, oh, you're putting your pipe inside the concrete. I, I can't service that unless I break my concrete to get the pipe out but like but our plumber friend who has done installations before right said, said radiant heat is clutch yeah and it's so fetch <laughs> and it's not as big of a deal service wise as i would think but yeah it, he said it never needs cool, servicing yeah it's basically. a cool concept and i can't wait to hope, hopefully it works yeah be warm on my feet yeah and not itchy in the winter. Cause you, you say you want to be warm on your feet, but you'll keep it at a solid 47 degrees or something like that. That's a balmy 47 degrees. Uh -huh. um, so what are some of the other problems? Oh, that I also like. So the company we're going through, again, Worldwide Steel, um, they include a lot, but they also don't include things. And I'm still kind of stumbling through what people do and don't include and like, so we're going to need to get our own plumbing and electrical plans. You need to look up if your area is going to require special building permits, um, which it sounds like that's mostly ordinances. Like right. if you have an HOA that says you have to build a three bed, two bath or more, your yard has to be pristine. Like we're in an agriculturally zoned area, so there's like very few limitations. Right. But what else? You're also writing a business plan. Oh, how could I forget? I just, I just stopped doing that tonight. Um, so one of our problems, oh yeah, that's a big problem, is um, because if we still have to do 20% down, like if all the other banks say, no, you're going to need to do 20% down. One of the things that we failed to mention was instead of putting a 5% down, we have to put 20% down with this type of home build because they say that it's a temporary building. Even though it's not. I think that was maybe just that bank not knowing enough about it. But we'll see. Well, that's why I called all those banks. But yeah. worst case, if we still have to put 20% down, um, we're think we were thinking like, okay, so we can afford to put 10% down. We'll have to get a personal loan for the other 10%. But with the personal loan and the mortgage we will still probably be borrowing less than 300,000 and since we were qualified for 360,000 before we're hoping that that'll be okay even though one of those is a personal loan um and we've both got good credit so that probably will help but anyway we were like okay so like that's the worst case scenario we really don't want to do that a personal loan's going to have a high interest rate so by the way follow communities that do the things that you want i found one like even though ours isn't technically a barn dominium I started following a Facebook community that's about, I think it's called Barn Dominium Planning and Info or something like that. And um, the people on it, one of them said like, oh, the reason everyone's having such a hard time with mortgages is because you're going through conventional banks. You need to go to an agricultural lender. I was like, what the frick is that? <laughs> um, so at 10 o'clock last night, I started looking that up and um, discovered that FSA which is like a division of the USDA. I don't know. This is not boring, Chad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired. Yeah, it is late right now. Um, Whopping nine o'clock. It's late for parents of young children. Anyway. Um, so, and I discovered that they have several loan programs, and especially right now, the interest rates are hella low. And so there's one that's specifically down payment assistance. And so you, all you need to do is put down 5%, and then they will help you put a down payment of up to 45% of your loan at 1.5% interest. That's a game changer. And luckily, since you don't need that full down payment until closing, that we can start, you know, wrapping it, like doing everything else, you know, signing the contract to get the steel building and like getting a contractor. We can do all that stuff now. And we have, you know, however many months till closing you know, however long closings takes forever. three months. Oh my God. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. Um, but anyway, we have that long to get the deposit, the down payment help loan. 
The reason I think it'll take a long time is because they require for those a business plan. So that's what he was <laughs> saying earlier that I just spent the last hour or so. You did a fantastic job of banging out four pages of a business plan. Thank you. Um, but I had to stop my brain spread. Um, SWOT analyses just... I'm not in the right brain place. I need to sleep. What are you doing? Okay. Am I shaking it too much? Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm jittery. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what we're working on right now is writing up that business plan because I was just feeling anxious. Like on the weekend, everyone's closed and they're not returning my calls. And so I was like, Chad, what can I be doing right now to get us this house? And he was like, nothing unless maybe you wanted to like start on the business plan. But you don't. And I was like, yes, yes, we'll do that. So, um, we started writing a business plan. She's the driving force behind this whole thing. She's been kicking ass and taking names. Thanks, Chad. Um, so that's the update. Uh, barn, barn dominium or just steel frame houses. Super cool. Really is more affordable. Um, we're not doing a full basement, and I think a lot of places don't. Budgethomekits.com gives you a full kit. It's made to be do-it-yourself for someone with no construction experience. Um, I think Texas, where they are, is getting swamped with bad weather right now. So they didn't answer my phone calls or emails. That's why I sent their layout to Worldwide Steel Buildings. Got back to me right away. They've already gotten me quotes. I'm ready to give them a deposit once all my other ducks are in a row. So feeling optimistic. We're going to make this happen. And we're going to get Chad his three-car garage. And it's going to happen. Yay. Okay. Any last-minute thoughts? Nope, you're doing a great job, baby. Okay, thanks. Like and subscribe. <laughs>